Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing season three, episode eight of Daredevil. We're finally getting back to that. We're doing episode upstairs, downstairs. So we start off with um, Poindexter tries to calm down and say he starts to clean up his apartment because he's so um, OCD about his room. Then Nadim is working and sees um, Poindexter's shade. Then Poindexter talks to the girl and he says sorry. Then Nadim meets uh, Matt and they check in Poindexter's apartment. Uh, the Poindexter shade, like, basically he was looking over the footage when he was um, Surveying Fisk and how you turn off the thing on um, the cameras and stuff. That's what I meant by shade. Sorry. Anyway, so uh, so basically, Poindexter is talking to the girl at the coffee shop, and basically, he just vents says he feels like he's drowning and wants her to treat him like a crisis hotline person. So she decides to help, but then we see that someone is watching them. Um, we get uh, knowledge of that through like the camera and the building in the coffee shop and then we cut to where Foggy and Karen talk and Karen <laughs> can't do this anymore and she wants um, but Foggy wants her to publish the article he can't she can't do that because she got fired <laughs> and we have uh, Foggy has been to say every basically air out everything at this press conference to um, to Blake the District Attorney, I feel like, yeah. And so we cut to where Fisk um, just, um, off the girl that was supposed to help Poindexter. And then we cut to where Poindexter's at um, HQ and meets um, an attorney to clear his name. So Nadine brought him in to clear him out and um, everything. And then we cut to where Matt enters uh, the apartment and he and Nadim, well, Matt managed to open the safe because of hearing the um, things click. And they found nothing except tapes, and so they played this type of tapes. And uh, they hear just like a little bit. So then we cut back to point out to HQ, and the attorney says that it could take six months to get him fully cleared. And then um, he tries to text Julie and got nothing and then we cut to report Dexter is home as they as Matt and Nadine were listening to tapes and basically um, shot at them <laughs> uh, but Nadine got hit and then it's point Dexter versus Matt and but the police stopped point Dexter and then um, we cut to where Karen couldn't go to this thing um, that Foggy was talking about and tries to meet with Fisk and then we catch a fog he's at the benefit and makes a speech and then he saw something and left literally mid sentence like he was doing like a really good job trying to pep up everyone and see how this guy is not doing his job right and everything then he then he, something about what he said he's like he went oh and then he left literally mid sentence and then we cut to where um, Fisk does let Karen in. And um, <laughs> you can sense the tension in this room. It is like outstandingly bad. And uh, she literally goes in on him and he does the same. And they're just going back and forth. And then she brings up James Wesley. And that's what really angered him. <laughs> And she suddenly said that she offed him and it was quick. <laughs> Benny was, it looks like he was about to do something bad and he, it probably would have happened, but Foggy stopped her and they barged in. Then we cut to where Poindexter burned um, the tapes. And then we cut to where the guy gets him. And then we cut to, uh, a driver comes and gets him. Then Nadim is hurt and calls his balls. And then Point Dexter arrives at, fi at um, Fisk's lair and basically tells him um, 
basically he tells him to scream rage, and so he does. Then Matt uh, talks to Maggie, and then he starts training. Then Maggie prays, and he's, she said his, her son, and he heard it. And that's the end of the episode. What a crazy episode. I literally go to A+. Plus. I kind of thought that Maggie was like his mom, but I wasn't like for sure definite. Because, you know, um, it could be super different from the comics. You never know. But I was like, what? And the fact that Matt heard it was crazy to me. And this whole entire episode was just crazy cuckoo pants, but I, in the, like the best way possible. I loved it. I thought overall it was a great episode. It had great action scenes and all the twists and turns that are happening in this is outstanding, I feel like. And Marvel really does anything wrong with his TV shows, apart from Inhumans. Uh, so bad. <laughs> anyway, um, really enjoyed this episode. I, like I said, give this A plus, and that's what I'm doing for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below. Tell me what you think of the episode. Do you agree or disagree? Just tell me your thoughts down below, and don't forget to subscribe. It helps out the channel so much, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, everybody.